today, I'll not answer the radio call that your boyfriend has come home drunk and is beating you again. Today, I'll not answer the radio call that your 16-year-old daughter, who is very responsible, is four hours late coming home from school. I will not care today that your store has been robbed or your house has been burglarized. Today, I'll not stop a drunk driver from killing someone. Also today, I'll not catch a rapist or a murderer or a car thief. And today, I will not respond to a call that a man has a gun or tried to abduct a child or that someone has been stabbed or has been in a terrible accident. Today, I'll not save your child that you locked in the car or the child you were too busy to watch who went outside and fell in the swimming pool. No, today I'll not do these things. Why? Because today I was killed by a drunk driver while I was pushing a disabled car off the highway. Today I was shot and killed doing a routine traffic stop simply to tell someone they had a tail light out. Today I was killed in a traffic accident while rushing to a citizen who was screaming for help. I was shot and killed today, serving a warrant on a known drug dealer. Today I was killed by a man when I went to his home to do a welfare check because his family was too busy. Today I was killed trying to stop a bank robbery or a grocery store robbery. Today. I was killed doing my job. A chaplain and an officer will go to a house and tell a family that their son or daughter, or husband or wife or father or mother, won't be coming home today. The flags at many police stations will be flown at half mass today, but most people won't know why. There'll be a funeral. My fellow officers will come. A 21 gun salute will be given. And taps will be played as I'm laid to rest. My name will be put on a plaque, on a wall, in a building in a city somewhere. A folded flag will be placed on a map or a bookcase in a home. And a family will mourn. There'll be no cries for justice. There'll be no riots in the street. There'll be no one marching, screaming the words, no justice, no peace. No citizens will be outraged, claiming that something must be done. No windows will be smashed, no cars burned, no rocks thrown and no names called. Someone crying themselves to sleep tonight will be the only sign that I was cared about. I was a police officer. I take it personally, okay? We're going up there and there's a bunch of cops processing a scene of a dead kid. And they're the ones that are going to be out there patrolling and stopping sus suspects that may have guns under the front seat. They're the ones that are going to take the risks of their lives to try to clean this thing up. All right? We're responsible for the things we get wrong and we take action. We've arrested cops, we've fired cops, and so on. But the fact is that the people out here, some of them, who had the most to say, are absolutely MIA when it comes to the true threats facing this community and it gets a little tiresome and we start getting yelled at for reading the updates of the kid that gets shot yeah you take it personal okay now no offense but I'm going up there now.
When people ask how I'm doing, I want to say my depression is an angry deity, a jealous god, a thirsty shadow that wrings my joy like a dish rag and makes juice out of my smile. I want to say getting out of bed has become a magic trick and I'm probably the worst magician I know. I want to say this sadness is the only clean shirt I have left and my washing machine has been broken for months. But I'd rather not ruin someone's day with my tragic honesty. So instead, I treat my face like a pumpkin. I pretend it's Halloween. I carve it into something acceptable. I laugh and say, I'm doing all right.